How's it going, everybody? My name is The Outcast Azane, and welcome back to Bioshock 2. We just got incinerate, and we're gonna burn some fools. Like that faker right there. So I guess thought he could actually get away with that. Oh, a party! He almost did. But this party just hit the skids. Carl needs a light for his cigar, and no one can help him. Yeah, I got a light for you, bitch. Don't smoke cigars. You're horrid. mannequins we going anywhere why is this room so red Heavy rivets. Oh, that's creepy as fuck. Thank you for the creepy music. As much as I love it. And boy, do I love it. Stop having rivets, you bitch! Maybe I didn't make myself clear. I said, suck my heavy rivets. Holy Moses, son. Not even a big sister can keep you down. Well, come on back and melt the ice and we can say goodbye to this two-bit carny ride. Yeah, that sounds like a plan, man. I love the kids in Miss English's third grade class, but boy, I had no idea what I was getting into. Volunteering to chaperone this New Year's sleepover party at Ryan Amusement. Donnie? Donnie, get down off that exhibit, and I told you, spit out that gum! You'll choke! <sighs> The kids' parents deserve a night off to enjoy New Year's, but I'm at my wit's end. Donnie, Who chokes I on told gum? you! Alright, where's the other splicers? They're around here. They can't fool me. Rise, rapture, rise. 
Scared to death they're gonna come for me. You poor woman. I understand your fear. Scary place. Standing sport. You're proven to be quite a windfall. Now just open the train tunnel from the security booth there, and I'll come out and jump on. Right. Of course. I like to look a man in the eye when I give him my word. You and me, kid, we're going places. I believe you. Now may I get out? I had thought you some golem of Sinclair's, brought here to hold Rapture's arms while he rifles through her pockets. But no, you are aware of your plight. Who, I wonder, would be so cruel to force a mirror on a man with no face? Lamb was waiting for us. Come out shooting and start the train. I work. I work all the time. Let's get going. Screw them slices. I ain't got time. Off we go. Whole new world. Welcome to Popper's Drop. Once I lived a life of a millionaire. Spending my money, I didn't care. I carried my friends out for a good time by food lake liquor. Champagne and wine. When I begin to Oh damn, you a biggin. Attention. Subject Delta is now trapped in Pauper's Drop. All railcar travel is suspended until he is found. Remember, the enemy is alone. We are the family. There we go, tell you Lamp's trying to box us in, kid. This is a goddamn citywide lockdown. To keep the train moving, you need the security override key from the local governor, Grace Holloway. She kicked oh, me out help. of my own hotel down here, the Sinclair Deluxe. Find her and get that key. I'm sure I can convince her. You know, I'm a, I'm a very convincing man. I mean, look at me. I'm big. Big as hell. Splendid. Nothing like money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I gotta go that way. Still plenty to look around here, though. Alright. Off we go. Defiler, huh? I just know how I'm looked at. Can't carry any more rounds. I'm pretty good.
Fifty caliber rounds. I'm like, what is an eight point five round? Gotta watch your back. Who can afford to sleep? Oh shit. <laughs> Name is Watson, she's our salvation. Emma Go is upon us. What the frack is Emma Go? Hello, hello. I remember you, monster. You stole, stole Eleanor from me. me. Oh, so Twisted we're not going to be friends. Twisted that baby girl into a thing so sick it can't even die. And now you come swanning into my neighborhood looking for me. Wrong turn, Tin Daddy. When we hang you from a street light and you choking out your last, I want you to remember my face. Sure thing. Not really looking to fight, honey. Honestly, I was hoping we could all be good friends, but seemed like a nice woman. I hear a creak, non-believer. You defile the lamb. I'm not speaking. <laughs> Excuse me, I, I'm gonna need this security bot here. No time to play, Mr. V. Looking to hurt you. Okay, you work for me now. Another Ryan versus Ryan. Religious rights, Doctor. You're free to kneel before whatever tribal fetish you favor in the comfort of your own home. But in rapture. Liberty is our only law. A man's only duty is to himself. To imply otherwise, therefore, is criminal. Ask yourself, Andy. What is your great chain of progress but a faith? The chain is a symbol for an irrational force guiding us towards ascension. No less mystic than the crucifixes you seize and burn. Well then. I'm I can adopt you or harvest you right here. I'm gonna adopt you. It's okay, honey. Me and you gonna go play. And your daughter. Goodbye. Now let's say we get some Adam for you, honey. We found it. Yeah, we did. Now collect some Adam for me. Be a good girl. That monster has taken another of our babies for his own. Tin Daddy is hollow like a jail cell that needs filling, and he will never let her go unless you hunt him down. Mm. 
touch her and you die. Oh, good dude. He's nicer than other daddies. Come on, honey. That's me. Call me Mr. Nice Daddy. Adam Daddy, over there. Over there? Okay, let me search in here first. Tells me there might be something worth looking for in here. Like that gin. And a shotgun. Child is mine. Now I have a passcode. Oh, they know just how to piss me right back the fudge off, don't they? Can't you keep up? Oh, I can keep up. Now I'm sad. Who killed that cat? I don't know who killed that cat, but they gonna they gonna regret it. Excuse me, I'm a little drunk. Where are we going, honey? Adam Daddy, over there. Oh, I'm smelling it. Smells good. Ugh. Thank goodness, I was getting a little woozy. Thank you. Fruit splicer, huh? Interesting. Rest in peace, Prentice Mill, huh? I don't see what she has to say. This oh, excuse me, heat. It's over. I built this railroad from nothing. Played by Mr. Ryan's rules. 
cash reserves into the banks to give Rapture some breathing room. And now, now Austin goddamn Bathysphere wants to buy me out. Decommission the entire rail. I have no family and no time for friends. I am the Atlantic Express. And this... How poetic. What do they expect? You keep enough drug stash in this clinic to spice up a rhinoceros. Of course every poor soul in a drop's gonna start beating down your door. It's my job to think up a new... people work for you. Daddy does good work, honey. Yeah, there's a lot more to the story than the original thought. How about a scary throw, little fire? Oh, my boy. We found Daddy. Yeah, we did, honey. Now why don't you gather it for me? The monster has taken another of our children, family. He would turn her from us just as he did to Eleanor. Show this thing what befalls the boogeyman when he steps into our god. Yep, Daddy's mad. They're pissing me off. I'm gonna say that again. Not again. gonna be nothing. Get all that item for Daddy. Away. 
Come on. Are dude. we gonna be together again, Daddy? Forever and ever, honey. You can get you out of here, babe. Thank you. You're welcome, dude. Go on, get out of here. Get out of here while you can. Daddy's got messy business to take care of, and he doesn't want you getting hurt. taken care of. I'm hiding here. Pretty sure I'm right out in the open. Hackers delight, heal when you hack. My folks lived in the St. Louis Hooverville in 32, and the drop is worse by a mile. Nobody's supposed to live down here, city pissing on us. Never tried. Ryan doesn't care, and Fontaine's a damn cook. But Dr. Lamb cares. We're still people to her. She's offering free mental counseling on Sundays. When I go, I get the feeling she's got a plan for Rapture. And for me. I bet she does. There's good row. Options, options, options. Let's follow the arrow and see where we go. Ah, blood. Closed. Well, that's just not gonna do, now, is it? Old Papa's drops the worst neighborhood in Rapture, but it's a hell of an opportunity to raise up some uh, affordable housing. When Atlantic Express was constructing their luxury passenger line, this place was hollowed out beneath as flop houses for the railway crew. Nobody was supposed to reside down here long term, but when you're broke in this town, you're not exactly swimming in alternatives. I, must didn't think I, was I don't favor it. spending more than an hour or so down here at a time. Bryce's there ain't a side of the track that's more wrong than shit. my girl. Well, sport, I guess Gracie's home, but that big lug just dropped half my damn hotel in your way. Now, to break through that mess, I expect you're gonna have to work out how he got so burly. Find yourself a genetic research camera, son. 
You can pick up any number of tricks from a splicer with one of those. Try the pawn shop downtown. And that explains why I need to go this way. So things can be done in your own order. My lamp don't a finger on me! How many of you damn slicers are gonna come out after me? Haven't you realized enough is enough? I never learn. I can always use a. I don't know, I can just pick anything, I guess. Good lord. That's definitely needed. Forty, 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 twenty-five. Okay, I'm going to try to talk to something. Two. Oh, man, there's a lot I need. <laughs> Start with an extra plasma slot. Electro Burt number two. Enemies longer. Charge up to generate chain lightning. That sounds like fun. And give me a health upgrade. I thought I was going the right way. Ah, uh, yes, the pawn shop, all locked up. Guess I'll just have to find my way in. If any place needed a talented de where are I wit on my side? Yeah, you got wit, all right. You appeared out of nowhere just to die. So witty. So very witty. I can all, I almost can't stand how witty you are. See, they kept the, the annoyance of that camera. 
which I hate. I hate using this camera with a passion. That thing's a miracle in Technicolor, kid. Works like a movie camera. Start the film rolling before you open fire on a splicer, and then anything you hit him with tells you more about his DNA. Let's give it a dry run, shall we? Well, uh, ain't that just handy? That's it, son. Camera spits out a prize once in a while as you learn what makes a splicer tick. Now, find one of those big old brutes and take them out on film. Before long, you'll be able to brush aside that mess at the hotel. At least I got rid of meeting film. Yeah, so you can always be recording. I'm going to Skid Row, but there's so much more over here to explore. In the Hamilton and stuff like that. Oh no, I missed this completely. Camera's a bit, bit like telling a joke. Each time you tell it the same way, it gets a little more stale, so you gotta change it up to keep it fresh. Yeah, 
Yeah, I forgot. I like the camera more in this one than I do in the other one. You bastard! Yes! I only hurt for a second. I tried to tell him it only hurts for a second. Who in the hell is in here making some meth? Oh, you make me cure all. Looks like a meth lab. But you know, who am I to judge? You can almost time it perfectly after a while. Blood and lamb. This lamb woman's powers of manipulation are almost scary. Mark again. Her people Our good buddy are using Mark. The girls from the surface to gather Adam from Lamb's followers. It's in the blood. Remember, son. Without using that research camera, we can't get to Gracie, and that means we're stuck here. Get one of those big apes on film, then work him over. Easily enough, I don't appreciate you stopping my recording. Ever. This lamb woman's powers of manipulation are almost scary. Her people are using the girls from the surface to gather Adam from Lamb's followers. It's in the blood. And eventually they give themselves over. Like dying is an honor. I'd almost feel sorry for them if they didn't have my mm -hmm. daughter. I'm going to find Lamb and take Cindy back one way or another. I feel you, man. I feel you. You, you, you go and save your daughter. I have a feeling I'm going to find his dead body or he's going to be a bigger help than originally thought. Ah! More than one. Places I see. Limbo room. Good lord, five floors. Hello? Nobody. Now, start your camera rolling on him, and then let him have it. You're in for it. Where am I? Ooh. Look at you, sport. A regular junior shutterbug. And it appears you've picked up a new trick from that big galoot. Now get back to the Sinclair de Deluxe and just bust through that mess blocking your way. 
Good enough. Press circle while holding R2 to the drill dash, huh? Confusion froze into attacking each other. Ooh. Bouncy. Hypnotize your foes. Laugh as they fight each other. Why'd you hit me in the head with that tomato? Because I thought it'd be funny. And you know what? It was. That dude's mega messed up. Oh yeah, I've got mad piano skills. Music to people's ears, let me tell you what. You should not have come, huh? Yeah, I get that impression sometimes. That's it. We have to close down the limbo. Bomb goes off in that fancy place uptown and everybody panics. Pulls their money out of the banks. A whole city tugging on the same dollar bill. So the banks fold. And maybe one in ten got their savings out. Who's gonna come here and Oh, that's night so about pretty. How broke they are. How am I gonna provide for little Eleanor? But that's gonna do it for this episode of Bioshock 2. We did, yet again, quite a lot. Saved a little sister, got some Adam, got a couple plasmids, got a shotgun, upgraded the shotgun. We're on a roll, and I think we're just gonna keep powering through until we kick Sophia Lamb in her face. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you like this episode, leave a like, share it with your fellow Bioshock fans, and your friends, family, loved ones. And subscribe to know when I'm going live and uploading videos. I know I've been down for a while now, and I want to say thank you all so much for sticking with me throughout my downtime. You really have no idea how much it means to me. I miss you all so much, so very greatly. And thank you for being patient and all that. And I will see all of you in the next episode. Peace. Be with you.